With the rise in solar energy comes the rise of rooftop fall hazards. Hi, my name is Julian Adams and welcome to Simplified Safety. And today we're gonna to talk about how solar affects your fall protection plan. Solar has become more popular for businesses, which means that you need to adjust your fall protection plan accordingly. In this video, we'll go over how that affects your fall protection plan, both during and after installation. The codes that we'll reference in this video are the International Fire Code, which addresses solar installations, and OSHA, which addresses general work safety. While most municipality, while most municipalities, <laughs> While most municipalities will adopt their regulations from the IFC, it's important to check your local code to ensure compliance. According to the IFC, you need to have a minimum of a six foot wide clear perimeter around the edge of your roof when you install solar panels. However, if the length or width of your building is less than 250 feet, you can reduce that clear path to four feet. This clear path needs to be free of obstructions like conduit, vent pipe, or mechanical equipment. This does impact how much space your solar array can take up on your roof, as well as where you can install your fall protection. The IFC says that any mechanical equipment, like a solar array, that's within 10 feet of your roof edge must have guardrails in place. There is an exception. Guardrails are not required if a personal fall protection system is installed that meets ANSI standards. Moving on to OSHA, according to the General Industry Code, if you're within 15 feet of the roof edge, you must have fall protection. If you're more than 15 feet from the roof edge, then you may not need fall protection, depending on the work that you're doing. This is based on the temporary and infrequent clause in OSHA. And if you want more information, then you can check out our other video where we go into more detail. Now let's talk about the types of fall protection that you can use around your solar array. The two main types of fall protection available to you are guardrails and personal fall protection. The best way to protect your people around a solar installation is with a guardrail. With guardrail, you don't have to do or wear anything to be protected, and there's no specialized training required. The guardrail can be non-penetrating so that it doesn't damage your roof, or you can mount it to the paraffin wall so that you don't have an issue maintaining that six foot clear space. But don't just take my word for it. The IFC, OSHA, and ANSI all agree you should use guardrail first around solar installations. However, they all give an exception. When guardrail's not feasible, you can use a personal fall protection system. Personal fall protection can be the right solution in certain situations. However, it does come with a couple challenges. Your first challenge is gonna be your connector. Your rope or whatever connector you use could get snagged on the solar array. Then you could trip, which could lead to you hurting yourself or damaging a solar panel. And no one wants that. The second challenge is gonna be the layout. Your solar array is gonna need as much real estate as possible, and you're gonna need a clear path around the perimeter of your roof. This makes it difficult to place your personal fall protection while still providing full coverage to your roof. So with all of the ways solar can affect your fall protection plan, here's a tip to make it easier from the start. Install a permanent fall protection system before you construct the solar array. Typically during construction, your installers will use a temporary fall protection system that they'll take down when they're done, only for you to need a permanent fall protection system after the installation's complete. This is a bit inefficient. As I've mentioned, guardrail is the best solution for fall protection for your solar array. So if you're the owner, then installing a guardrail in the beginning will protect your contractors during installation and your maintenance team after installation. Also, this will save labor by not having to bring contractors back after the installation. If you're the contractor, offer to install a guardrail before you install the solar array. This will help ensure your team has an easier and safer time installing the solar panels, and it gives you a little bit more business. Now, I know this was a lot, so let's sum this up for you. You need a six foot wide clear pathway around the perimeter of your roof. Fall protection is required if you're within 15 feet of the roof edge. Guardrail is the best form of fall protection around a rooftop solar array. Personal fall protection is an option, but it comes with a few challenges. Install a permanent fall protection system before you construct a solar array. If you have any questions about fall protection around solar, then reach out to one of our fall protection experts. If you like this video, then give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more safety related content and comment below with any thoughts, questions, or other topics you'd like us to cover. Again, my name is Julian Adams. Thank you for watching and have a safe day.